Shaving up to be a big weekend at the Funny Bone. Tickets are available for just one show right now on Sunday. And that was only added because of the demand. Yeah, Steve-O is in town. He joined us yesterday. Today, we're happy to have his opening act. And Omaha knows him well. Comedian, writer, filmmaker, Richard Reese. Good to see you, Richard. Good What's morning. happening, guys? Thanks we're, for having me. We were just talking you. about this. It, 2014 was the last time you were on our show. Yeah, What's, man, I got to get up here more did often. Did we upset you? Is there no, a reason you no. didn't come back? I, I think I might have been grounded from the comedy club, actually. <laughs> it was Colleen's. She's not here. We'll yeah, blame her. Yeah, we'll blame <laughs> her. I must have did something wrong. Um, I don't know if you saw the clip yesterday with Steve-O. Uh, Guy was more down to earth than I thought. Oh he would yeah, be. I did watch the clip. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. Uh, how, so how this? So you, there was a second show added last night. Two shows last night. Yep. How the shows go? The shows were great. Shows were great. Um, it probably took about an hour and a half to get out of each show because he takes pictures with every single person, which yeah. is pretty awesome. Yeah. You know, I've worked with a few guys. I work with Bo Burnham. He does the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, which is really cool. Really yeah. gracious with our time. Yeah, yeah. You got to do that. Fans. These are the people paying your bills. Yeah, you know? right. Well, and it, it, people appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. And it's how it should be. Really. But what you're yeah. saying is not everybody does that. And no, so it's no. cool when somebody does. Yeah, yes, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm not, I'll probably, I'm trying to figure out what level of fame I want to get before I do that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Yeah, as of now, I can't do that. Can't, can't I can't even delete my Facebook page because I don't have enough fans yet. You know? Have you done meet and greets afterwards, though? Oh, yeah, totally. I'm always out there. You're I'm, right I'm out the ambassador there. for the Omaha Funny Bone, so, you know, I got to yeah. be yeah. out there. Thanks for coming out. Thanks uh, for coming out. Yeah, yeah. Good, good crowds, though. They, they were respectful and responsive. Oh, yeah, everybody. That's I mean, it was a couple... Th these crowds are so crazy. Like when they show the intro videos uh -huh. at the club, they were cheering for those. <laughs> they were going nuts. And I'm like, right? oh my God, I got to follow the video. <laughs> right. <You know? laughs> well, well, what makes it like a not so good crowd? Because you've been doing this a little while now. The hecklers or the whatever, like if you, you could say to c people coming into the shows at the Funny Bone in general, like don't do this, it's not cool or whatever. Like what are those things? Um, the hecklings is one thing. The, the people that can, can't control their liquor is another thing. Um, and people get restless too. Like we had a long line for the second show. People were in line for about an hour and a half. Wow. And so I knew I had to pace myself a little slower for the next show because they're like, this ain't Steve-O, <laughs> you know, as soon as I go up there. <laughs> but if you, can you spot those hecklers out? Like, can we, do, you, do you like scope the line when they're waiting that line? I or? don't, but the, the staff is real good about that. Like, it's almost like at a football game, like, okay, this dude, check him, you know, get him out of line right uh -huh. there. Like, you can see him coming in, like, they're going to be a problem. Right, We're going right. to seat this guy in the back. Anybody with a sash that's coming on and a little bachelorette <laughs> thing, that's going to be a problem. Right. <laughs> that, that will be a problem. Yeah. Uh, with you, and you're opening um, for Steve-O right now, but I keep up with you on social media you're traveling quite a bit a little bit not little bit. just not just playing Midwest but going all over the place now and then you've got your first album yeah I'm coming out this year it. next I'm really month excited about it. Yep. Uh -huh. here it is here's the cover Richard <laughs> Reese in jet that, tuxedo. that is cell phone Photoshop is that, that is. looks like it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but you're, so when does this come out uh, February 14th okay what is it? I, I was looking at all the tracks. They're all like explicit next yeah. to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true to your act, right? It's it's an adult album. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. You yeah. always dress snazzy when you're on stage. When I'm headlining, I do. Yeah. Um, like for these shows, I'm dressing casual. But when, yeah. when you're going to the grocery store and you post, I mean, I don't know if Hy-Vee pays you to post as many videos <laughs> as you do that you shoot in the store. I love Hy-Vee. <laughs> I love Hy-Vee so I much. I feel like you need to somehow you need to be on the payroll because they are getting a lot of love out of you online. You know, sometimes I'll uh, I'll walk in there and I will see some of the casual. It's the dude. That's, That's, the dude. The That's the dude shooting the videos that you do. Like you do all these skits in the yeah, store when nobody else is it. shopping. And I'm, I'm newly engaged, mm -hmm. so I have the perfect camera person every time I go into IV. Dragging you your fiance. Person. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's been 2014 last time you were here, and you were, you were uh -huh. telling us that you uh, you opened you, you opened some for some bigger names like Hannibal. Hannibal Burris, Burris Kevin right? Nealon. Yep. Kevin Nealon, uh -huh. and Hannibal flew you to St. Louis. Yeah, I got on a private jet. I think that's where the jetpack tuxedo came from because uh -huh. we, we took a private jet to St. St. Louis, and then he rented all the comedians' tuxedos, which was great. Because in his way of thinking was, well, tuxedo shops next to the theater, uh -huh. we got to wear tuxedos. Got to look nice. <laughs> yeah. But he didn't know that you're a shard dress guy, period. Uh, you know, I, I've only met him a handful of times, uh -huh. so no, I don't think He's, he knew. But so it was, it was great. Walks it was great. In, I'm uh -huh. like, Mike, look at all your, you've got all this wasted real estate. Look how Richard's maximizing. <laughs> and check this out. Why don't you lapel. look oh, no, closer to the flower? No, 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 I just went. There's no water out in there. Not really. So all of the shows sold out at the Funny Bone. Then they added an extra show last night, sold out. So now you've only got one shot to get in to see the guys, and it's Sunday at four o'clock. And there are still tickets for that. Sunday. Yes, yeah. for the four o'clock okay. show. Not four many, show. Yeah. not many. So if you really want to go, you've got to probably get those this morning. Um, call or log on to funnybone omaha.com. Richard Reese.
Thanks, Great guys. to have we'll you back. Before, Thank you. Appreciate before, it. Let's make it shorter than two years. 2007, oh, yeah, definitely. 2017. Thanks, hey, just look right just in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's a new warning out for women who want to